Let me tell you this. The image you have of Caribbean peoples, and you would have heard that at the moment, the fastest man in the world is Jamaican. The fastest woman in the world is Jamaican. The second fastest man and the second fastest woman. And the image you have is that Caribbean peoples are super athletic. But let me tell you this. If you strip off the veneer of the sportsman, and if you use the criterion of chronic diseases, hypertension, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes, the black people of the Caribbean are the sickest people on earth. We are the sickest people on earth if we use the criterion of hypertension and type 2 diabetes. There is an epidemic in the Caribbean. 60% of all black people in the Caribbean over the age of 60, 60% of all the black people in the Caribbean over the age of 60 have hypertension, diabetes, or both. It is an epidemic that is outstretching the capacity of these governments to control. It has to do with that stress profile of slavery, apartheid colonization. If you take a people and for 400 years you enslave them, you rape their women, you sell their children, then you subject those people to apartheid, at the end of that, what do you expect? What do you expect? What you have is an explosion of chronic diseases. But we say, okay, slavery is over, but we are now in the jet stream of the consequences. We are now in the jet stream, and we are sick. And if you go into a hospital, you're hypertensive, and there isn't a family anywhere in the Caribbean that half of their members over the age of 50 do not have a chronic disease. And let me tell you, the only other place in the world that has the same health profile as the Caribbean is the state of Mississippi. For the same reason. For the same purpose. For the same reason. The same reason. Denigration, exploitation. And if you go into a hospital with hypertension, they will give you medication. There are probably about six or seven different types of drugs that they will give you. But you know what? They don't work very well on us. Because they are clinically tried on white folks. Hypertension drugs are drugs that are ingested, go into the bloodstream, the brain sends a message to the cells to open up to allow things to happen. With white folks, there is a 95% response to the cells and how the drugs work. With black folks, it's a 70% response because we are different. But guess what? Guess what? The drugs work very well on the Africans in Africa. So the Africans in Africa have the same very good response as white folks. It's we who have been genetically modified by slavery. We are the ones who have the problem. We are the ones with the problem. We are the ones with the problem. And we go to the pharmaceutical companies and we say, okay, what is required, we need to do some pharmaceutical research and biochemical research. It's just a matter of doing biochemical research, take some DNA samples, do all the cell work on the Africans in the diaspora, and have the drugs adjusted a little bit to accommodate our genetic structures. And do you know what the pharmaceuticals say? There are only 15 million black people in the Caribbean. Are we going to spend $50 million of research for such a small market? If the Africans in Africa had this problem, we would do it because there's a market. Well, there are just a few million of you. You have survived in only a few million of you. We have been working in our medical faculty to do that pharmaceutical research, that biochemical research to make the adjustments. And I can tell you, it can be done, but it is very expensive research. Very expensive research. And we say to the British and the French and the Dutch government, 
you must sponsor this research to help us to find the solution. Because many of the people in the Caribbean who have died of strokes, heart attacks, coronary diseases could be alive if we had the appropriate medication to treat these issues specific to us because we have been modified by them through that slavery process. It's a major research undertaken. It needs to be done. And if we're going to save our lives in the future, this research has to be done and these drugs must be adjusted. Then there's a question.